Hello guys, in this video we will create a LED effect in Niagara. We can see it like a signboard of the star. The color of the lamp beads will change gradually. Now let's start it. First, we need to create a Niagara system and also we use the empty template. Let's rename it LED. In the Niagara, we also use the spline to control the particle's position, so let's add a new module in Particles Update. And add a spline in MapGet. Also, we need to sample spline position by unit distance word space. And add a float in MapGet, just like last video we did. Now let's add a particle's position in map set and connect position. Okay, go back to Niagara system. Let's add a spawn burst in emitter update and set the spawn count to 100. Also, we need to change life cycle mode to self and once and uncheck kill particles. In this way, these particles will always exist in the level. Now let's create a blueprint to use this effect. Also, we need to add a spline to sample the particle's position. And add the Niagara we just created. Okay, we can see that it didn't sample particle's position, so let's check the Niagara system where is the problem. Oh yes, it's here. We didn't assign the index value, so the particles will only stay at the star position of the spline. Let's set the index to return normalized exact index. Okay, it worked. Now let's change spline point's position. Alt and the life mass button add a new spline point. And add a new one. Okay, close the loop. And select all spline points. Change this tab to linear. Now it looks like a rectangle or a signboard. Let's go back to Niagara system and change the sprite size. 10 is okay. Go back to Niagara system and rename the emitter to leader. We will use this emitter to change the color of particles. Copy the emitter. This emitter is our lamp bead, so let's rename it to LED. And add a new module to receive the color information. Add a particle attribute reader in MapGet. It can get particles information in other emitters. First, we need to know the particles position from other emitters. So let's add a get vector by index. And rename the attribute to position, particles position. Now let's add a particles position in map get and use particles position subtract get vector by index position. Get the distance between them. We can use direction and length save this node to get the distance between them. Of course, we need a value to compare with it, so let's add a float and rename it to distance. Use the length compare with the distance. If length less than or equal to distance, we will output particles color from other emitters. So let's add a particles color in map set. Also, we need a color from other emitters. 
So let's get color by index. And uh, the attribute is color. Connect the attribute color to true. And we need a particle color from this emitter. Connect it to false. And save the module. The particle read emitter name is leader. This emitter. In this way, we can get particles information from leader emitter in LED emitter and set the distance to 1. We can see there are errors that because we didn't set color in leader emitter, the source emitter. So let's set the color in leader emitter. We can set a random color like this and reset these settings as we need to keep particles color changing. Spawn count we just use one. Let's save it and go back to blueprint. We can see it not work, so let's check the Negra system. We found that we need to set the index to a curve because we only have one particle, so we need to move it from start position of the spline to the end position. 0 to 1. OK, it worked. The particle's color in LED emitter will change as the particle's color in leader emitter changes. Now let's add a scale color module to make it brighter. Set scale RGB to 100. OK, it looks better. Also, we can change particles count. We can use user parameters to make it easier for us to change the particles count in Blueprint. Add an integer parameter and rename it to count. Set the value to 100. Now we can change the particles count in Blueprint. Of course, we can hide the particle in leader emitter. Just set the spread set to zero. Yes, it looks better now. OK, let's put it in the level. Let's hide the light. At night, this effect looks great. Okay, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoy it. Bye.